We have joining us the Group Managing Director and Founder of InterSwitch, Mr. Michel Elegbe. Thank you for joining us on the program. Good day. Uh, thank you for having me on the program. Indeed, it's a pleasure. E-commerce is an inevitable part of life for many in today's world. In Nigeria, InterSwitch provides the bulk of e-payment platforms for millions of users. But let's go back to 2002 when it all started and trace how the company evolved into what it is today. Well, thank you. Uh, 2002, clearly almost 17 years ago, looked very different from what Nigeria is today. Um, back then in 2002, it was common for people to go to bank branches, queue up, collect tally numbers. It was common for people to be in traffic on their way home on Friday and they are robbed because there's this assumption that being weekend, most people would have gone to the banks to withdraw cash. It was common for people to give their bosses excuses about going to the banks, uh, only not to return because of the long queue, and so on and so forth. Today, that is very different. Today, you can get cash just in time from any ATM, from any agent across the country. Today, you can transfer money in real time to anyone using your mobile phone. You can use as much as seven channels to carry out financial transactions. And the interesting thing is that when you do this, the impact is immediate, so it's instantaneous. So we've really come a long way, and I think it is safe to say that InterSwitch played a pivotal role um, in, in making this happen. Of course, there are many players now, but the, the, the foundation for what you would call modern real-time electronic payments is something that I will proudly say that InterSwitch um, championed in this country. Now, embedded in policies of thriving companies are mechanisms for giving back to society. For InterSwitch, the InterSwitch Spark project encourages high school students in the area of STEM. I want to find out what informed the choice of this project. Okay, so people call it CSR, people call it give back, and so on and so forth. But I think in InterSwitch, we appreciate the fact that Nigeria has been good to us. Um, there are lots of challenges, but somehow, despite these challenges, we have been able to build what we call, we would like to call a world-class uh, organization coming from this environment. And so normally you want to do a few things, and to give back. So a few years ago, InterSwitch decided we cannot be something to everyone. Let's pick two or three areas that we think we like to focus on and make contributions in those areas. So we thought about leadership, we thought about entrepreneurship, and we thought about um, education. Industry Spark fits into the third bucket of education. And the thinking behind Industry Spark is that we really want to drive interest in young people in STEM education, in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Now, that is not to say other subjects are not important. Don't get me wrong, they are. But what you're basically saying that we understand as a technology company itself, the potential for science, technology, engineering, and math to transform society. And we think it is important that our youths pay serious attention to this area. Now, in an environment today where all sorts of things are being done in social media, there's a likelihood that areas like science, technology and engineering and maths could easily suffer. And so what industry decided to do was to make that thing attractive to students. And industry spark, where we are trying to push the whole thinking of, of uh, speed, precision, accuracy, and knowledge, which is what spark means, we feel that's one area that we need to focus on and help grow interest in STEM subjects. But beyond growing interest in STEM subjects, there are other activities we carry out. Uh, in the past, we used to be part of um, Exposure Robotics, where we're basically trying to introduce very young Nigerians at the secondary stage into robotics. Uh, that we did for quite some years until that program fizzled out. We're going to do some work with um, um, a, a group that basically focuses on uh, education for what we call the less privileged ones in our society, slum to school. So we do support them, and we basically have given a computer lab 
to, to them to allow children from schools in our communities that may not have access to modern computer facilities to be able to go to the slum to school computer facility to basically use that. So we do that a lot on the, on the, on the SPAC side of things, the education side of things. On the entrepreneurship side of things, there are quite a few things we do. Um, for example, we are members of um, Endeavor, uh, where we basically support younger entrepreneurs to make sense of their business models. Leadership is an area we try to get involved in, uh, mostly from individual capacity. We, we try to encourage every staff of interest rate to get involved in one form of leadership activity or the other. Could you briefly tell us how much InterSwitch spends on these CSR projects on an annual basis? Um, I don't have the figure offhand, but I can tell you for InterSwitch Park alone, we spend over a um, million dollars for that. So I can easily say that we spend not of over a million dollars on, on CSR every year. Thank you so much, sir. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you.